So let's get started making the video for our restaurant. We will put together a 30 second commercial using the Wii video video editor. And we're just gonna make this commercial up from images that we can find on the internet. And then we'll add in some uh, different parts to that once we get into the editor. So if you go to wevideo.com and just sign in using Google, if it asks you some questions about who you are, uh, you can just answer those truthfully. That's fine, it's no big deal. And we wanna end up at this dashboard and you can see I have a video here that I've gotten started, but I wanna show you uh, how I got there. So first of all, we need to download some images and I would do that first, go out and find the images for your restaurant. The images that you want to download should be uh, wider than they are tall. So uh, something that's gonna fit into a video that looks better without black sidebars on it. I would do a combination of outside the building, inside your restaurant, um, close-ups of food, maybe some uh, pictures of people eating, just things like that. You can also include your logo. So to get started there, you can click on this button that says media, and you can see I've uploaded some pictures here. Uh, to get started with that, you simply right click and you say import. And you can go out and select your files. So if you've you're on your Chromebook and you've downloaded them. They'll be in your downloads folder. You just click browse and find your images and then choose upload on those. So I've put mine into here and I can select them and I say open and they will upload those pictures into here like I have. So let's get started. I'm going to go back to dashboard and say uh, create a new video. And I want it to be horizontal and hit start editing. And you're gonna see your pictures show up into here. And from here, we can start building our video. So we can drag those images down onto our timeline. Uh, let's work in the video one track and then uh, just start building that out. Maybe you wanna show pancakes and uh, the inside of my restaurant. Just kind of keep alternating till you get the items that you want. I'm getting hungry just looking at this food here. Okay, so if I get one, two, three, four, five, six clips in here, it'll put each one in at five seconds, and that takes me to 30 seconds. That's exactly what I want. So you can scrub back and forth by dragging your playhead. You can click over here on the monitor, and you can watch that play. Um, and you can see what happens as you go along. It'll just have those uh, cuts put in there. You can see it change from one to another. So let's continue with, with editing here. Uh, what do I want to do once I get this in here? Well, I'd like to have some transitions put in. So up here at the top, you'll see transitions. Now we just need to work inside the standard transitions. I would like to start and end at black. So I will drag down a dip to black on the beginning and the end here. So you're gonna notice that when it plays, it starts at black and fades up. That's really nice. Uh, some people would like to do like a crossfade between elements and that can look good too, as it fades from one image to another. You don't have to put a crossfade between every single clip, but it's certainly nice to include that from time to time to smooth things out. I think if you haven't experienced that, you need to include uh, at least starting and ending at black and one other trans, uh, transition within your, within your video. So the next thing that we can do is add in text. If we click, and you're gonna see here, uh, motion titles, upgrade, we don't wanna upgrade, okay? So we just wanna come down here to static. And let's come down to just basic text. I'm gonna add that into video two, okay? And so you can see that that now appears over top of my video. Now I want that just to play on top of my inside of my restaurant. And so I can make that smaller and then I can click on that text. Let me see if I double click on it here, I can edit it. Okay, so I can put something about the inside of my restaurant. Maybe I say, um, 
great location for family and friends. Okay? And you can make that bigger or smaller as you'd like. You can see how that goes. You can actually change uh, the color and play around with that here. But you need to have some text on here. Now, I'd like to see that actually fade up. So if I go back to transitions, I can cross fade that on both ends. So it will kind of fade in and out. If I need to zoom in on my timeline, I can zoom in like this. Might be a good time to do that here. Add that on there. So it's actually going to, you can see here, I'll make this a little bit bigger by dragging it. And let's see how that just kind of fades in there. It fades up, sits there for a little bit, and fades out. So that's some additional text that I can put on here. Uh, when I'm done, I can add some audio tracks in here. They have some things that you can drag down in here and you can listen to it and drag onto your audio track. Let's make this a little bit smaller here. I can trim that down on here. Okay, you can see how that works. Let's zoom in just a little bit here and you can watch that play. And if you've got multiple video that you want to add, you can go in and you can see what I did there. There's a little, if I click on here, no, go down. There's a little plus sign here and I click on add audio. And it shows you on here some things that you can do to adjust in there. All right, so that's going to get you the basics for what you need. When you are done with your video, you can hit this finish button. It's going, you want to type in the name of your commercial. And then what it's going to do is, and you can choose like a, a, a thumbnail, that's great. And then what you can do is it'll export it for you. And when you do that, if you hit this export button down here, it's going to generate this file. And then what I want you to do is to uh, upload that link to that file that's done, the not just the edited version, but the one that's exported. And you want to turn that into the classroom. All right, good luck. I look forward to seeing your commercials.